We are tracking multiple investigations involving racism at schools across the area tonight. First, the Dixon Unified School District says a student posted a racist message about black people on Instagram this week. It happened on Wednesday, the first day of Black History Month. I'm upset about it because it shouldn't have happened. The school district launched an immediate investigation. They learned a seventh grader at John Knight put the racist post on their personal Instagram on Wednesday during lunch. It included individual and group photos of about 20 black and mixed race students, along with a picture of the school's first black principal. The post also included a banner reading Happy Black History Month, followed by a derogatory word. Parents say enough is enough. But at the same time, I want Dixon to implement the correct cultural training and structure so our kids don't have to go through this. During a news conference today, the district addressed parents' concerns. We also learned the student who posted the photos and hateful message is no longer welcomed on campus at this time. The district says other students also played a role, like taking the photos and planning the hateful act. School officials are still working to identify everyone involved to take the appropriate disciplinary action. That's a process that takes a number of weeks. Uh, is expulsion being considered in this situation? Yes, absolutely it is. Meanwhile, officials at McClatchy High School in Sacramento are now investigating a racist video. It was created and shared by students. The principal confirms the video showed a student making racist remarks about black students. They say the young person in the video and the person who posted the video have been disciplined. It all comes during Black History Month, a time when many students are supposed to learn about the influential role black Americans have had in U.S. history. But a new survey suggests there is work to do. The company Brainly questioned nearly 1,300 children. It found one in four do not know Barack Obama was the first black U.S. president, while only about a third knew Rosa Parks played a role in the civil rights movement. It is a reminder of the old saying, those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. You can read more about each of these investigations on our website, abc10.com.